my channel in this video we will be discussing about plastic limit of soil and how we can determine the plastic limit of soil an important property of soil used for classification of soil as we know that the Atterberg limits are the boundary water content at which soil changes its form or phase from one phase to another for example, we have different Atterberg limits like liquid limit, plastic limit and shrinkage limit. In particular, plastic limit is the water content at which the soil changes from semi-solid state to plastic state. This water content corresponding to the boundary water content at which the soil changes from semi-solid state to plastic state is known as the plastic limit of soil. So, in laboratory, we can determine it through a test in which we consider the moisture content at which the soil thread will just begin to crumble when, when it is rolled into a thread of 3 mm diameter using a glass plate or other acceptable surfaces. When this thread will start to crumble, that uh, water content, that particular water content will be known as uh, as the plastic limit of soil so to do this test first of all this plastic limit is defined for fine grain soil only not for the coarse grain soil so first we have to take the soil sample and use 425 micron sieve to to sieve the soil and the residual soil that is that passes through the fine grain soil through the 425 micron sieve will be taken for the test after we have obtained the soil that has passed through 425 micron sieve we will put it into a put some water into it and make a plastic very plastic form of this soil just like we have a tuff prepared for the for making the chapatis in that format we should have a, this soil and then we will take a glass plate and First of all, we will put a, we will take a small amount of uh, soil from this sample and put it in between our hands, just like a first of all form like a ball, and then we will put this ball onto the uh, glass plate and start rolling it to make a thread. And we have a metallic rod of 3 mm diameter. We will compare it again and again with this metallic rod. So as to check whether it has reached a diameter of 3 mm or not. So in this way we will compare the diameter of the rod and this uh, soil uh, which we have converted into a thread by rolling against the glass plate from hand. And uh, finally if the diameter is around 3 mm and it crumbles into pieces like this then we will identify this water content as the plastic limit of soil. Generally, this will require number of trial, not at, uh, at once we will get this uh, 3 mm diameter that crumbles. We will have to take a number of water contents, uh, different, um, try with different water content. And to determine that water content, we can use any of the methods used for determining the water content of soil. That is, uh, either we can use the own drying method and other methods are also there, a complete a video on own drying method is also available uh, the link has been provided in the description as well as the i button you can visit that and this as already told that liquid limit wl represented by wp that is plastic limit is direct not directly used for classification of soil instead we calculate the plasticity index that is ip for uh, determining uh, for classification of soil so while determining a wp that is uh, plastic limit we are of the uh, we have the objective to calculate the plasticity index and plasticity index is defined as the difference between liquid limit and plastic limit once we get this plasticity index then we can use liquid limit and plasticity index to classify the soil this is known as the plasticity plasticity chart where on the x-axis we have liquid limit in percentage and 
uh, in the on the x, y axis we have plasticity index that is also in percentage and we have this a line <coughs> The equation of which is 0.73 WL minus 20. 0.73 into WL minus 20. The equation of this A line is. And above this line, we have classified the soil as CL, CL, CI, CH. That is clay of intermediate compressibility, clay of low compressibility, clay of high compressibility. Below this line, we have MH or OH that is silt of high compressibility or organic soil of high compressibility in this way if we know the liquid limit of soil and plasticity index of soil we will uh, match this point and wherever in the wherever this point will um, we will get we can identify the type of soil in that region suppose we have a plastic limit plasticity index of 20 and then uh, we have around 45 uh, liquid limit liquid limit is 45 percent then we will have a ci type of soil in this way we can use this chart uh, along with plastic plastic limit and liquid limit to classify the soil even if we don't have this chart this uh, calculation of plastic limit is very helpful because we can calculate the, the plasticity index that is IP from two formulas. One is the formula that is general formula that is liquid limit and plastic limit. And other formula is the A line formula from where we get IP is equal to w, 0.7 WL minus 20. And from these two formula, we can get the value of IP. One is the from the formula, other is from the A-line equation. When we compare these two values, IP values obtained from the formula and from A-line equation, if the IP value obtained from the formula is higher than the A-line equation, that means the soil is lying in this region that is above A-line. And above A-line, we have clay soil. On the other hand, if the value of uh, IP that is plasticity index is obtained from this uh, formula IP is equal to WL minus WP is less than the IP value obtained from A line equation that is 0 0.73 into WL uh, minus 20, then we can have the, <clears throat> we can say that the, the soil is lies below this A line region and below the a-line region you can see that there is silty or organic soil in this way comparing the two values of ip we can without even using the chart we can we can we can imagine or we can we can understand that this soil is either clay or silty or organic soil this classification we can easily do that soil is clay organic or uh, silty without even using the chart so in this way, this uh, type of uh, plastic limit test is very helpful in classification of soil and determining the proper. And finally, if we classify the soil, identify the soil, then we can determine its uh, properties. We can, uh, we can have a general consideration what type of properties it will have. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share the videos.